In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use FaceTime on the iPhone 2025 using a new method that's perfect for beginners. Let's dive in and start with the basics. First, you'll need to locate the FaceTime app on your iPhone. Look for a green icon on your home screen that's marked with a small video camera. Once you spot it, go ahead and tap it to open the app. If you haven't already signed in, you might be asked to do so. Use your Apple ID to sign in when prompted. This is your key to unlocking all the features FaceTime has to offer, whether it's your first time or you're logging back in after a while. Now that you're signed in, you can start making FaceTime calls, which is exciting. To get started, tap on new FaceTime and you'll see a pluses button. This is your gateway to making connections. When you tap it, you'll need to enter the name, phone number, or even email of the person you want to reach out to. It's that simple. Once you've entered the recipient's details, you have the choice to initiate either a video or voice call. Tap the video icon if you want to see the person face to face or choose the audio phone icon for a voice only call. Both options are seamless, offering clear and uninterrupted communication. Receiving calls on FaceTime is just as straightforward. When someone calls you on FaceTime, your screen will display a full screen notification. You have the choice to tap accept if you're available to take the call or decline if you need to reject it. It's just like answering a regular phone call but with the added benefit of video. With the 2025 update, there are some exciting new features to explore. Uh, during a call, you can add a fun twist to your conversation by trying out the new reactions. These reactions, like thumbs up or hearts, can be triggered by making simple gestures adding a lively dimension to your chat. Moreover, by tapping the screen and selecting effects, you can use filters, stickers, or even a memoji to animate your experience. Another fantastic feature is SharePlay. By pressing the share play button, you can share your screen with the other person. This is a great way to watch movies together, explore apps, or present something important, all in real time without the hassle of third party apps. Finally, when your call is over, ending it is straightforward. Simply tap the red X button to hang up. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to navigating FaceTime on the iPhone 2025 with ease. Thank you for joining me in this step-by-step -step guide. I hope you find these tips helpful for making the most out of your FaceTime experience. Be sure to explore all the features and enjoy staying connected with your friends and family like never before.